the most underrated tangerine in the citrus world. Their color is orange, they taste like orange, they smell like orange, and yet they are not orange. Strange. Hey, welcome to the Black Phoenix, and today we're going to talk about the fruit that is described by many as the perfect hybrid in the citrus world. Citro Fortunella Microcarpa or Calamondin for all the left brainers is a small bushy evergreen tree or shrub belonging to the Rue family. The Rutaceae is a family commonly known as the Rue or Citrus family of flowering plants, usually placed in the order Sapindales. Species of this family generally have flowers that divide into four or five parts, usually with strong scents. Calamondin is basically a citrus hybrid. The plant is said to have originated from China or Philippines and is considered to become the most important citrus juice source in the Philippine Islands. From there on, it has spread out through Southeast Asia, India, Hawaii, West Indies, Central and North America, where it acquired the name Acid Orange as it resembles an orange. It is a common ornamental dooryard tree in Hawaii, the Bahamas, some islands of the West Indies and parts of Central America. Dr. David Fairchild introduced it into Florida from Panama in 1899 and it quickly became popular in Florida and Texas as well. Since 1960, thousands of poet specimens have been shipped from southern Florida to all parts of the United States for use as houseplants. The plant is believed to be a natural hybrid between a sore, loose-skinned mandarin, probably mandarin orange, and a kumquat, perhaps Fortunella margarita. Calamansi is ubiquitous in traditional Filipino cuisine. It is naturally very sour and is used in various condiments, beverages, dishes, marinades, and preserves. Calamansi is also used as an ingredient in Malaysian and Indonesian cuisines. Calamondin is a medium-sized evergreen shrub or a small tree that grows about 6.5 feet to 25 feet tall. The plant is adapted to warm climates but it can also grow in cool, frost-free areas. It is also adaptable to areas with long dry periods provided irrigation is available. This fruit thrives well in cold climates unlike other citrus fruits. It thrives well when planted in containers or tub as a flower. This fruit is also drought resistant than other citrus species do. However, for it to grow well and bear fruits, it requires bright light with slow release fertilizer added to it especially at the beginning of spring as that is its season to produce. The plant is adaptable to a wide range of soils from clay loams to calcareous soils to sandy soils. It does best in well-drained, sandy loams or clay loams rich in organic matter. It is moderately drought tolerant and intolerant of strong winds. The fruit on the other end is relatively small with bright orange skin and a small green notch at the top, a remnant of the harvest. First cultivated in China, the Calamondin orange is a little larger than a quarter and typically does not exceed one inch in diameter. The rind is thin, easy to peel, and reveals an extremely juicy flesh. Calamondin oranges have a lot of flavor for its small size, offering an especially sour, tangy flavor. Despite from the obvious utility in the food industry, legend has it that Calamondin oranges are used for various medicinal purposes in Indonesia and Malaysia. The juice is rubbed on insect bites and stings to relieve itching and irritation. In the Philippines, the juice is used to bleach stains from fabric as well. Calamondin juice is also taken for cuffs and as an anti-inflammatory remedy. Calamondin halves or quarters may be served with iced tea, seafood and meats to be squeezed for the acid juice. They were commonly used in Florida before limes became plentiful. Some people boil the sliced fruits with cranberries to make a tart sauce. Calamondins are also preserved whole in sugar syrup or made into sweet pickles or marmalade. 
A superior marmalade is made by using equal quantities of calamondins and kumquats. In Hawaii, a calamondin papaya marmalade is very popular. In Malaya, the calamondin is an ingredient in chutney. This particular tropical juice is well known for its impact on weight loss as it has the ability to not only boost the metabolism but also remove many of the toxins in the body that can contribute to fat storage. By increasing metabolic speed, this juice can improve passive fat burning throughout the day while detoxifying the body will help all of your organ systems run more smoothly and function properly, aiding in calorie burning. By reducing fat storage, you will have more usable energy and less adipose fat formation. Many people drink a glass of calamansi juice every morning to stimulate the body and achieve their weight loss goals. Anecdotal evidence and some studies have found that this juice can help you lower your cholesterol levels, which is an important aspect towards weight loss and avoiding metabolic syndrome. It can also help lower your risk of atherosclerosis, heart attack and stroke. The fruit is loaded with vitamin C and other beneficial nutrients and its juice has been used as an immune booster for generations. It can encourage the production of white blood cells and counter the negative effects of free radicals thanks to its antioxidant and antibacterial properties. Known to encourage urination and flush out the kidneys, calamansi juice can be a powerful detoxifying agent, strengthening the functioning of your liver, kidneys and gallbladder to help you eliminate excess toxins in the body. Significant amount of research has been done on the blood sugar moderating effects of calamansi juice. It can help to regulate the release of glucose and insulin into the bloodstream, which is excellent news for those suffering from diabetes or those at risk of developing the disease. Well, in a nutshell, this little fruit can give even the mighty orange a run for its money. With its benefits in food, medicine and health alike, it's one fruit we definitely recommend you add to your fruit basket. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the kind of content we produce, consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon so you get notified whenever we upload.